A very good afternoon to you and welcome to our Lunchtime News. I'm Sandro Ferdinando. Before we get into our stories in detail, let's take a quick look at your headlines. First sitting of Parliament for 2015 to commence in a short while. President states that though the presidency has unlimited powers, the power of Parliament is essential to fulfill national needs. A statement from the Venerable Omar Pe Sobhidetero. Janadipati Tumavata Andavannang Ekatuvena Mevilar. Arape Parana Katavati in Rajru Hari Lesi Andavan. Nuikpiti Andung Andavan. Avasani Rajru Dandine. And now your story is in detail. Rooms at the BMSCH where a stock of firearms belonging to a private security firm were being stored have been opened. Now, earlier today, when news first contacted the police media spokesperson, he stated that investigations will commence subsequent to the opening of the weapon armory. Now, this footage was recorded at the BMSCH today. Parliament will convene today for the first time since the swearing-in of the President Maitripala Sirisena. Shine Jurampathi joins us from the Parliament complex with more details. Parliament is scheduled to convene for the first time since the presidential election under the government of President Maitripala Sirisena and Prime Minister Rana Vikram Singha at 1 p.m. today. A meeting with all party leaders was held yesterday under the auspices of Speaker Samal Raj Paksa on today's proceedings. Now, just to give you a very brief breakdown, there will be a significant change in the House today as there were many changes in positions, including that of the opposition leader, chief government whip, and leader of the House. Lakshman Kirela was appointed as leader of the House, while Grant Akarnathilaka was appointed chief government whip, and WBJ Sinirapna was appointed as a chief opposition whip. Now, those who sat on the government earlier will be sitting in the opposition today. Moreover, there will be questions regarding the seats of members within the parliament. Moving on, Prime Minister Ronald Vikram Singh is to make a special statement in parliament today, and another MP will be appointed to the seat of President Michael Pala City Sena. Now, subsequent to these statements, the parliament will reconvene on the 29th of January, where a mini-budget will also be presented. Moreover, Speaker Tamal Raj Rajapaksi is to officially announce Nimal City Paldi Silva as the new opposition leader. David News First, as we will give you the details as and when it happens. For the News First team, I'm Shai Karam Padre, reporting from the Parliament complaint. President Maitripala Sirisena says that although the position of president has limitless powers, it is the power vested in parliament that is essential to fulfill national needs. The president made this statement during a puja held at the Saddam 7 International Buddhist Information and Research Institution in Borala yesterday. <laughs> Many people have still not understood that in spite of the limitless powers with the presidency, no president can take even one step forward to fulfill the common national needs without the power of parliament. When I was elected chairman of the SLFP2, many people questioned me about this. UMP supporters were wondering why the president they selected was going to take the chairmanship of the SLFP. The SLFP supporters began wondering what their position was if the president elected with the UMP support became chairman of the SLFP. I wish to ask whether it is not fortunate for our great motherland for us to have some spirit of fraternity when we face challenges that must be overcome. Some people do not like this unity and are seeking to break it. When I was elected chairman of the SLFP, former minister Professor G. L. Pires came up to me, held my hand and said that there was no example of such a thing happening anywhere in the world before this. मैं सिद्धि एक पूर्ण आधार से आकर नहीं गया। काटवा थेरुंगे नबे में कस जाति का समूति ये का युग या no one seems to be able to comprehend an era that has been brought about, an era of national consensus devoid of party and color, where all forces including the North and East have been united for a common cause, devoid of religious, ethnic or tribal differences. We pray that you, President Maitripala Sirisena, who has achieved this feat, will become a symbol of compassion. We need to think well about all of this. There are persons gathering around the president to deceive him. 
අරා අපේ පරණ කතාව තියෙන රජ්ජුරුවෝ හරි ලේසි අන්දවන්න නොයෙක් විදිහ ඇඳුම් අන්දවන්න අවසාන රජ්ජුරුවෝ දන්නේ නැහැ it's like the emperor's new clothes in the end the emperor lost all of his clothes we warn you that there will be such people who will surround you do not be deceived by them we must understand that a wound that had been inflicted on the whole nation in spite of there being a wound people were not screaming in public people eventually rallied for a compassionate rule there are various wounds in our society today the elected leader must have the talent to identify what the true social will is තත්‍ය සමාජ මතය කුමක්ද කියන බව තෝරා ගන්න පාලකයා දක්ෂයෙක් විය යුතුයි. A media briefing was convened by the opposition leader and opposition members of the Biagama Pradesh Sabha. දෙස් ප්‍රාදේශීය සභාවේ සභාපතිතුමාට ආපදා කළමනා කරන නියෝජ්‍ය අමාත්‍යතුමාට The council was governed as per the whim of the chairman of the Pradesh Sabha and the deputy minister of disaster management. They built expressways recently under the leadership of the disaster management minister. Power was given to political hench for the excavation of soil in Biagama. We call on the government to investigate this immediately. Some people in this electorate have 50 to 60 lorries. Where did all this come from? Where did the money come from? Basil Rajapaksa who was the economic development minister had a house in the Siam Lampe junction. Then he has a COC estate in Mapitagama. Basu Rajpaksa had built a massive house there investigate this we wish to inform this government that the people elected the government of his excellency Maithripala Sirisena with many hopes do not give an opportunity to rogues like this matumage aandu bhiru with mirati janata visala balapurathu rasi king me wage pal horunta avasthawa denne ba kisima rakiyawakata thi mantri uru aandu pakse innwa me manusu tattu deke etu ne gwal gahala thiyenwa khapurata paavichchi karanwa There are government members who have no employment whatsoever but they have houses with two or three stories they drive around in cabs they associate with society as major businessmen we need to look into how they managed to invest such vast sums of money in a mere 4 to 5 years they made up money off the expressways in a very cunning fashion because they had state power it was not investigated conduct investigations thuggery violence and intimidation was widespread As the Biagama Pradesh Sabha, we believe that the government of President Maithripala Sirisena will take steps to address this. We call on the chairman to immediately remove the garbage heaps here. There are many tractors. They all have the resources. Why is this garbage not been cleared? If they could campaign for elections with hundreds of vehicles and if they could use state power for all their campaigning then why could they not resolve the garbage problem the people of Biagama were harassed immensely i believe that the powerful deputy minister has now been arrested and so has the pradesh sabha member we call on him to work together with the people if he is to establish good governance in the country Governors of several provinces have handed over their resignations. Governor of the Northwestern Province, Tissa R. Balala, said that he sent his letter of resignation to the President yesterday. Meanwhile, Governor of the Central Province, Tikiri Kubbakadwa, told News First that he is handing over his letter of resignation today. Governor of the North Central Province Karuna Ratna Divulgane and Southern Province Governor Kumari Balasuriya too have handed over their letters of resignation to the president yesterday. When contacted over province governor Nanda Matthews said that he had handed over his letter of resignation to the president on the 17th. Governor of the Northern Province Major General G N Chandrasiri too handed over his resignation several days ago. Another news first media workshop organized to enhance the media literacy of children was held at the IMRA Iriagolla Central College in Bolivava Nikavaratia. This is incidentally the 165th workshop conducted by News First. Here the children were educated on the basics of news reporting and practical skills. The children were also educated on the use of news media techniques and were all provided with the opportunity to showcase their talents at the workshop. Meanwhile, an individual has gone missing after bathing in the Kalni River in Akaravatiya Koskama area. Now the police said that a 34-year-old resident of Anandagama Akaravatiya, Abigapad Akaravita was thereby missing since last evening. 
Police added that they have commenced search operations with the support of the area residents. A woman and her child were injured in a motor accident which took place in Ibangama town in Kurunagala yesterday. Our correspondent said that the accident took place when a motorbike ran into the mother and child while they were crossing the road on pedestrian crossing. Now, the woman and her child, age 8, have been admitted to the Kurunagala Teaching Hospital for treatment. Meanwhile, a private bank was damaged following an accident involving a car on Navala Road in Nugegoda. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board says that water consumption has increased amidst the drought that is currently taking place. Our gender manager of the National Water Supply and Drainage Board, Ranjit Balasuri, says that this may further increase in the future and does note that they have taken measures to provide the public with as much water is needed from water sources. The consumption of water has greatly increased in several areas due to the dry weather. We are expecting the consumption of water to rise further due to the prevailing dry weather. Therefore, we are taking measures to obtain the maximum amount of water from our water bodies. In particular, measures are being taken to extract the sand and obtain maximum amounts of water from the Kali River. Chasing 277 for victory in New Zealand have won the fourth ODI against Sri Lanka at Nelson in New Zealand by four wickets with 11 balls remaining. Just when Sri Lanka's hopes began to rise following the dismissal of Centurion Kane Williamson and Corey Anderson, Luke Ronke smoked the 40th over bowled by Thissar Pereira for 24 runs to seal victory. At the start of that over, the Kiwis needed 25 runs from 18 deliveries but Ronke remained unbeaten on 32 of 15 balls, which included three sixers and a four, all taken off Pereira's over. Now, earlier in the day, Sri Lanka were dismissed for 276 in 49.3 overs after winning the toss and choosing to bat first. Senior batsman Tilgrat Nadilshan, Kumar Sangakkara and Mahila Jayavardhana scored 44, 76 and 94 respectively, ensuring the visitors got themselves to a fighting total. However, the result means New Zealand lead the seven-match series 2-1 with four games remaining. And that's a wrap of this edition of Lunchtime News. I shall see you again at 1.55. Hotline. 0114-896-896 www.newsfirst.lk Feedback at newsfirst.lk